today we're going to set up our DSX 5000 cable analyzer for a Cat 5e permanent link test. I've just put the module in the back so we can see it says DSX 5000. However, my previous module was an OTDR module and that's what I was set up for. So let's tap Auto OTDR and I'll create a new test. The moment I do that, the tester is smart enough to know that, hey, you've got a 5000 module in the back there. First thing to check, cable type currently set at CAT 6A. We want to do a CAT 5E. So I'm going to tap that. And here I see my CAT 5E UUTP. There are more options in here to select various manufacturers. Our MVP here is 69%. It's quite important that you check to see what that MVP value is on the data sheet for the cable that you're installing. It will affect the length measurement. Nothing else, just the length measurement. We're going to leave it at 69% today. Now I'm going to change my test limit. I'm going to select TIA Cat 5E permanent link. This is the last used. If I tapped more, you can see all the various standards that are available to you. In fact, if I go to TIA, we see our list. Permanent link first and then channel underneath. So let's select Cat 5E permanent link. Our plot data here is on, we always want to leave that on. The reason why is when this instrument runs its diagnostics in the field, it will store the time domain data that allows people such as myself to help you diagnose test results. If you tapped on the HDTDR, HDTDX, you get two options here. You can have it run when it only fails or is marginal pass, or you can have it run at all auto tests. Now, if you do run it with all auto tests, that means the HDTDR and the HDTDX is going to run every time, regardless of whether it passes or fails. And it's going to add about three seconds to the test. So leave it on, leave it off. That would be your decision. Most people will actually put it in the pass fail position. And then we got our outlook configuration. What was the color code? If you tap here. This particular standard allows two selections, T568 or T568B. And if you're not too sure, you can tap on sample and it will show you the color code. We're going to use T568B today. You select it. And then your final setting on here is this AC wire map. The only time you're ever going to use that is if you're testing through a mid-span PoE device, 1000 base T. Very rare you see those devices these days. Most people are doing PoE from the switches. So leave that off. If you do turn that on, you're going to disable the resistance and the shield test because those are two tests that cannot be done through a mid-span device. And you will get a warning if you do turn that feature on. Tap Save. Here's my previous OTDR setup. Select my new one. You selected. And I am done. I'm ready for a CAT 5e permanent link test, and now all I need to do is set a reference.